So now that we have the overview of the actual system, let's go ahead and talk about the bullets and bullet selection and prep and uh, how we're going to go ahead and hang them, okay? So, and, and also what I'd, I'd also like to talk about um, the actual solution itself. Um, you're going to need a copper sulfate solution and uh, what Dan Ricard has recommended is a uh, Zep root kill. Um, you get this down at uh, Home Depot. You can't get it in the garden section. Don't look for like a root killer in the garden section. You got to go to the plumbing section. Um, this is designed to kill roots that go into your um, your septic lines and things like that. So um, don't go to the garden section. I went to the garden section. I looked around. Obviously, it wasn't there. It's in the plumbing section. That's the uh, Zep root killer copper sulfate solution. Okay. Um, what we're going we're gonna to use to make our solution. Um, the solution consists of one and a half cups of Zep, Zep Root Kill to one gallon of distilled water. Um, it takes a little while for the crystals to sort of show you guys what this stuff looks like. It takes a little while for these crystals to dissolve in your water. Okay. Kind of looks like big, uh, coarse grain salt, essentially. Um, took about 20 minutes. Um, I, I, I stood there and I shook my gallon. Um, you could let it set if you like, um, however you wanted to. But you got to make sure that all the crystals are completely dissolved. Also, another word of advice, before you dump your half, one and a half cup of that brood kill into your gallon of water, dump at least a, half, a cup and a half of water out of your gallon, otherwise it's going to overflow, you're going to have a mess. Um, so that's the solution. The Now let's talk about bullet selection and prep. Um, obviously, um, bullet selection is going to be up to you. Um, today what I've chosen is the uh, 9mm um, 120 grain Lee truncated nose bullet. Um, what you're going to need to do to prep these is you're either going to have to wire wheel them or uh, you know um, steel wool will we'll, we'll clean up really nice but you got to do something in order to clean them um, so I'm going to show you the, I got a difference here you can see one this one I cleaned and this one I didn't um, and I'm not sure how well the, the camera's going to pick up the different nuances and um, but there, there's a difference. Um, so I went ahead and I wire brushed these, got them nice and clean. What you're then going to have to do is you're going to have to clean them with acetone. Okay? You go down to Walmart, you get a you get a bottle of this. I think this was like ten bucks or something. Okay. You're going to need to wash your bullets in the acetone. Um, so once you're done doing that you're going to want to hang your bullets. Okay? Now, there's a couple ways you can do it. Dan Ricard uses uh, clips. His clips are brass and they're a little bit bigger than this. Um, but I got, I got a package of these at uh, Radio Shack for I think $2.99 for about, I think there was like 10 of them in there. Um, but basically, you can just clip the bullet. And the, the reason I don't like this method is you always end up with a little end on the bullet that where the clip was that didn't get plated. Um, it's probably not a huge deal, but um, you know, however you decide to hang yours, you're going to have a spot on the bullet where there's not going to be plating solution um, to, to contact it because it has to hang on something. So it all, it all depends on how you want to do it. This is an acceptable method. Um, what I like to do is I get <clears throat> lengths of uh, little um, speaker wire. Okay, just your standard household speaker wire, what I do. Um, I strip it, I pull it apart, I strip it, <clears throat> then I come up with this. And then it's nice because you can cut a bunch of these and get all predetermined lengths. Um, you know, just a whole pile of uh, same lengths. So, basically what I do is I just untwist this stuff and it just comes unraveled real easily. You know, it just comes apart. Take a single strand. Okay. Take your bullet. 
And I like to go right inside the lube groove because uh, the, the barrel's not going to be touching uh, inside the lube groove there. The rifling is not going to touch there. So I go ahead and twist this around. Okay. And I make, I make a little Christmas tree ornament. All right. Basically. All right. Like that. Then I make a little, what I'll do is I'll put a little, a little bend in it. Like that. And that's how I'm going to hang it uh, in the solution. So, what I like to do though is before I put my bend in the wire like that, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and get a bunch of them made up like this. Okay. I get my, I get a little container, little water, this is just a little water bottle I cut the bottom off of. Um, you know, label it acetone. And I'll just lay them in there like that. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll just lay them in there. Um, I'll get a bunch of them in there. And then I can just pull them out by the wire. I won't have to touch the, uh, the bullet again because the oils from your hands um, getting on the bullet uh, will make them not plate as nice as they could. I also have a little, um, bottle, a little jug of water here. Same kind of deal. Um, just labeled H2O to give them a rinse before we put them in the... Uh, in the copper sulfate. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera off. Uh, I'm going to get these all together, get them all wired, pre-wired up and hung. Uh, I won't hang them, but I'll get them pre-wired and cleaned. And then when we get ready to hang them, I'll uh, I'll turn the camera back on. We'll take it over to the plating station, and uh, we'll we'll take it from there. Okay. All right, so we're we're back, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn the camera. I'm going to show you guys that I have my uh, got the bullets all cleaned, and they're sitting our, in our water solution, and our, and we're just going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to make those little bends in them and hang them in the the plating solution. I have the uh, coffee pot running, so we got nice hot. Uh, you can see the steam coming off. Nice hot solution, and uh, we're ready to go. So. I go ahead, what I'm going to do is go ahead and take, take the bullets out. I don't touch the bullet, I just touch the copper wire here. Make a little S, little S hook, okay? And I just go ahead and hang. And the, what you want to try to do is, what, what I've found is, you kind of want to hang them all almost the same, this, at the same depth. Um, as uniform as you can get them, uh, it seems like they do a little bit better. They, they plate a little bit more uniformly. Um, so just go ahead and keep making them and hanging them here. Okay. And I'm only doing, uh, how many do we got here? One, two, 